everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I'm doing another weekend vlog. So I'm just getting ready now, putting a little makeup on, but I thought I would just chit chat a little, just give a little update. I did not vlog last weekend, but I did do a little spring thrifted outfits video. So if you haven't checked that out, feel free. I'll link it in a card above here. Saturday, May 1st, which is crazy, it's already May. And we're gonna go outside, walk around this cool little arboretum. We're gonna go out to dinner later. And I think it's gonna be a nice little Saturday. So I thought I would vlog and take you guys along. And I just wanted to update because I did get both of my doses of the COVID vaccine. Very happy to say that I've received both of those and very grateful. I got the Pfizer vaccine. So I thought I would just tell you guys how my experience with that was. While I do my makeup. <laughs> Let's see if I can multitask. So three weeks ago on Thursday, I got my first dose of the COVID vaccine. Like I said, I got the Pfizer and I had absolutely zero problems with it. I just had sore arm, which is pretty normal with any shot basically. Then on Thursday of this week, so two days ago now, I got my second dose. Honestly, I felt mostly fine for the most part, but I did about 12 to 15 hours after getting my shot so I received it in the morning around 10 a.m. and then around like midnight I started like I had the sore arm which was normal but I did have some like body chills so I was very hot like my face was very warm my body was warm but then I was shivering compulsively that didn't last too long because I ended up taking an ibuprofen which apparently there's not an issue with taking ibuprofen after getting the COVID vaccine so I just took that I felt instantly better I didn't get a lot of sleep though. So Friday was kind of a weird day for me. I just took it easy, but generally like I felt fine and I feel totally fine right now. I feel perfectly normal and my arm's just like a little sore. I don't have any like flu-like symptoms, cold-like symptoms, anything like that. I'm just happy I was able to receive both doses. So I am fully vaccinated now in two weeks. I believe it's full immunity or 90% immunity with both doses. And I thought I would just give that little update. And in two weeks, I'm going on a birthday trip to Boston and Newport, Rhode Island. I'm very excited. I went to Boston in October of last year. It's a simple road trip for us. My birthday is May 18th and May 25th, which is absolutely crazy. And we're gonna go celebrate my birthday, my boyfriend and I. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Boston, celebrate my birthday. I think it'll be a really nice trip. Hopefully the weather is good because it's been getting warmer here now. And I'm really excited. I took off of work for a few days. My birthday's on a Tuesday this year. So I took off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I think it'll be a nice trip. So subscribe, stay tuned. If you want to see another Boston vlog, which I think will be cool because it's going to be a spring theme. Whereas when I went last time, it was the fall. And I was also on my old camera, which the quality honestly wasn't nearly as good as this one. I think it overall is just gonna look a little better. And yeah, that's honestly the update. Uh, we're gonna go to Willowwood Arboretum today in Far Hills, New Jersey, I believe. It's a little farish from here, but we're willing to take the tribe. Just explore more of New Jersey. Love finding new things to do, especially within driving distance or little day trips from the New Jersey area. Lower Hudson Valley, New York area. So I'm always looking for new things. If you guys are from the Northeast area, feel free to comment down below any suggestions of things to do in the tri-state area. I'm just gonna keep getting ready now and then we'll go on with the rest of the vlog. Lunchtime.
we just got to Willowwood Arboretum, I think is what it's called. It's in Morris County. Very spacious, so we just parked here and we're gonna walk around and explore it. There's a lot of just open land, but I think there's supposed to be like cottagey like buildings, flowers, and I think they're known for having like a lot of lilac plants here. So we're just gonna explore, walk around. It's so nice out today. Me with sunglasses on my head and then going like that to shield my eyes. Yeah, we're gonna explore this place. Never been here. It's very peaceful out here if like, out in the country. And like farmland almost. Lilacs. It smells so good. This looks so cool. Oh, this is cool. They put like the little light bulbs on top. That's cool. Oh, this probably looks cool at night. This place is really beautiful. Ooh, an actual restroom. Yeah, it says restroom closed. They had a porta potty, thank God. This looks like a little greenhouse. This place is so good for pictures, wow. Well. Oh, little garden. Yeah, people, do oh, that's it. That's where people take their wedding photos, I know it. Like when you see these trellises, that's just where the photos are. This is a really good spot for pictures. I did say if you're a professional photographer, you need to get a permit. And this is so cute, oh my god. I'm just a sucker for a garden, an arboretum, anything outdoors, especially flowers. Like, I just love this stuff. Love finding these places, especially in New Jersey. There's lots of old buildings here. Very cool. With all the flowers. So this is the cottage garden. Yeah, I feel like these look like historical cottages. Ooh, a pathway. Ah, oh, this looks cool. Okay, here's the bamboo, bamboo garden or bamboo forest. I think bamboo is so cool. If you are looking for a very aesthetic, quaint, quiet, peaceful place to walk around in New Jersey, I definitely recommend Willowwood Arboretum. I think it's in Peapack. So yeah, lower Mor Morris County, but it's just so peaceful here. There's really not a lot of people walking around and it's just, you can't hear the highway. It's just very relaxing, little getaway. This place has trailways as well, so you can get a little hike in. Scenic view. We ended up coming a little late, so it's honestly already probably like four or five-ish. And we're really excited because we're getting Jose Tejas for dinner. It's our favorite Mexican, Cajun Mexican food here in New Jersey. They have two locations, so we're very excited for that. 
and we're definitely gonna have a big appetite for walking around here. And yeah, we're just thinking about how we're excited for that good food. It's so beautiful. But we are like in the straight woods now. That's a cool little bridge. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale right now. In like a whimsical forest. I've never seen something that looks like this. I think you could walk across this. A little adventure crossing the river. These are all like statues and landmarks. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. I feel like when I go places, I really like to show in detail like where I am, everything about it. I'm definitely into like the travel and that kind of aspect of vlogging. Share a lot of details and the scenery of where we go when we do and not just talk about it, but actually show it. These chairs being here reminds me of Vermont. garden there's a little garden and there's like a home here this place has a lot of different views a lot of different aspects to it it's pretty big oh my god people are getting pictures that's so cute looks like wedding photos there's so much more to this than i thought i didn't even realize when i looked it up how big this place was but you could spend hours here for sure I love these trees. So I think we saw most of the gardens and sceneries and little scenic points at the Willowwood Arboretum, but this just stretches for acres and acres. But I think we saw what we want to see, and I think we're going to head out now. We just got to Jose Tejas, and I'm so excited because I'm really hungry. And sorry, the lighting's really weird, but I'm so excited. And the Arboretum was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend that. I probably said that ten times in this vlog because I just love repeating myself. And we're going to get some good food now, some guac, enchiladas. So good. 
<laughs> Dessert. Dinner was so good at Jose Tejas, and then we just got the cookie connect, which is in Ridgewood. And we got two cookies, and then I got a cookie cup, so it's cereal infused soft serve with a cookie in it. It's honestly a big treat, but it's so good. We're gonna walk around Ridgewood and then just have a chill night. Good morning, it is Sunday now, and we're gonna make some breakfast. I sound very dehydrated. <laughs> and I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl, like usual, mixed berries, blessed chocolate coconut powder. And it's supposed to be pretty warm today, I think like 80 degrees, but it's a little cloudy right now. So I'm probably just gonna chill outside. I don't know what we're gonna do today, but we'll see where the Sunday takes us. <laughs> I'm putting spinach in my smoothies lately. Did a workout, the elliptical, watching some YouTube videos while I was doing that. I did a Chloe Ting video, which I have not done one of her workouts in a while. I did a few of her challenges earlier in the year, but I forgot how hard her videos are. So I did a 20 minute like hit workout for weight loss, it said. It was pretty intense, not gonna lie. Showered, clean, and we're gonna eat lunch. The sun is coming out now. So we're gonna sit outside, eat some lunch, and just continue this healthy little Sunday. <laughs> Ginger, it's so nice out. It's like a summer's day. We're gonna make a healthy lunch. We're gonna make some couscous, some salmon, the Trader Joe's chunky Greek yogurt guac. That stuff is really good. I just love making bowls, so like rice, couscous, quinoa. Uh, a protein, vegetable, and then just put avocado or like that guac on it. So good. A little soy sauce and pepper. We make a healthy lunch. I was just sitting outside and I feel like it's really hot out. It's almost 80 degrees right now and sunny and I felt like I was like burning. I put sunscreen on. <laughs> this is basically the same lunch I had yesterday. But we have the salmon here that will heat up. I'm gonna make this couscous, just really simple. Got my salmon. Yum. Love couscous. I like to put a little bit of soy sauce on it. This is the best part, the Trader Joe's chunky guac. Mm -hmm. 